Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Unity's nav mesh system to create an AI that can make its way through a maze to a target. For this video, I created my own maze object, but the ideas from this video can be applied in many different forms. Uh, this is just one of them for educational purposes. So setting up the nav mesh is actually pretty simple. What you're gonna wanna do is any objects in your scene that you're gonna want to be obstacles, you're going to want to set them to be static. And more importantly, they need to be navigation static. So you can see here, I have both my maze objects highlighted as well as this little cube on the end just to block off the endpoint so it doesn't choose to just go around the maze, instead it'll go through the maze. So all of these need to have the navigation static option checked, as well as the floor, the plane that I'm using, is also marked as static. And then you need to open the navigation window. So to do that, you can go to Window, AI, Navigation. And I already have my scene baked, but just to show you how to do that, I'm gonna clear that out. So when you're on the navigation menu, you're gonna to want to go to bake, and really you only just need to click bake. And as long as you have your gizmos turned on, you'll be able to see the path that the AI object is able to walk on. And you'll see it's not just limited to the floor, there are some areas up top where the AI would be able to walk if it somehow got up there. And these settings here are going to affect the bake. So if you want your object to try and avoid walls more carefully, you could turn this value up. And then you'd also have to increase the step height here. I'll just do that. If I bake it again, you can see the walkable area gets a lot narrower. I'm going to change that back down to what I had it before and click bake. Another thing to keep in mind is the larger the walkable area in your scene, the longer it's going to take to bake these walkable pathways. But this is pretty much all you need to do in this window here. There are a few more options that you could uh, set up here, but for our purposes, this is really all you have to do. All right, so the next step is telling our mouse here that it has intelligence and it wants to go find this cheese. So to do that, I'm going to select our mouse and currently it only has an animator component. The first thing we'll want to do is add a nav mesh agent. And these are going to be the settings that the mouse will have uh, while it walks on the nav navigation mesh that was laid out. So you can see here under the steering category, you can change the speed, the angular speed, acceleration. Uh, you can increase the radius for obstacle avoidance. You could choose quality for obstacle avoidance. All of these settings here, you're able to toggle. And for speed, just so it's a little faster for us, I'm going to change it to 7.5, just so it gets through the maze a little faster. Um, but this alone won't really do anything. So the next thing we will have to do is create our own script. So I will call this AI movement and I'll go ahead and create a new script. I'll go ahead and put that in our scripts folder and I'll double click it to open up the script in Visual Studio. I'll bring it over to this screen so we can all see. I'm gonna get rid of these two using statements that we're not going to use. And the first thing you'll wanna do is add using Unity engine dot AI, and then I will add a public transform called target and a private nav mesh agent called agent. And in start, I will set agent to get component nav mesh agent. And then really all you have to do is in update, you can set agent dot destination equals target dot position. And you could even, if this all is all you're gonna do, you could even just put this in start, but if you're going to be changing the destination target, you'll wanna do that in update. So if I go ahead and save this, I'll minimize that and I'll go back here. 
now we have our script here and we're looking for a target and I'm just gonna drag our cheese in and that should really be it. So if I go ahead and play our game, the mouse should walk towards the cheese. Now, obviously this isn't going to be 100% perfect, but it is a better solution than just programming a script that says walk in the direction of an object. And in most of those cases, there's no obstacle avoidance. The advantage to this is obviously the pathfinding and the obstacle avoidance uh, to make more sophisticated AI. So yeah, that is pretty much all you have to do to get this set up. And you'll see as soon as they reach the target, they just kind of stop. Now with something like this, you might want to add like an offset just so the mouse isn't completely inside of the cheese, but you know, you do you. <laughs> and we could also just duplicate this mouse as many times as we want here. And they will all just act independently and try and get to the cheese. They're all just gonna line up and make their way into the maze. And they're all just kind of taking the same path to the cheese. And you can see I put our mouse like right next to the cheese up here. But there's a wall there, so it can't go all the way through so it has to go all the way out and around the inside and work its way through the maze. Anyway, I think I talked about this mouse and its cheese <laughs> long enough. Um, so anyway, if you found this video helpful, please leave a like on it and comment down below with any suggestions for future videos. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Also, one more thing, um, that's kind of weird, but okay. Uh, one more thing, I am using Unity 2021.3.33 F1. Newer versions might have a different setup, but that is the version I'm using if you want to uh, copy the steps I have here. Anyway, thank you for watching, goodbye.